Welcome to Access for Microsoft Office 365, How to Build a Database from Scratch, Part 1. I'm Trainer Laurie. Why would you want to build a database from scratch? Because you have unique needs that a template won't solve? You have experience in access and understand one-to-many relationships? You know how to think through your needs and possible reports. Step 1. Find out their needs. Each database has its own unique set of needs. You probably won't need to create this exact database, so please think about your own database needs as we learn. This database is for a retirement neighborhood association of 3,000. Many of them are part-time residents and have another home somewhere else. The association specifically wants to be able to contact residents who are out of compliance of their design rules such as landscaping, exterior painting, and general home repairs. While every resident was issued a list of the rules when they purchased a home, over the years, like most of us, they tend to forget. So the association posts a long list of rules in each activity center and have even posted a map for all the homes highlighting those who are out of compliance. The problem is, because most of the residents are seasonal, they don't see the list when it's posted and have to rely on friends or neighbors to let them know when news is posted. They occasionally send letters, but the Excel file that contains the resident's preferred mailing address is unwieldy with lots of unnecessary duplicates causing their mailing budget to soar. Now that we have reviewed the client's problems, let's review the database issues. There are multiple residents in one lot. At first glance, it seems that a simple Excel spreadsheet would suffice. If we were only tracking issues by lot, a spreadsheet could work. However, we also need to contact the residents. And there are multiple residents in one lot. Some are traditional families, others siblings or friends who share the home, but also reside elsewhere with mail-in addresses in different locations. There are multiple contact needs. Some of the residents prefer mail, some prefer email, and others just want a text or even a knock at the door and a friendly visit. We need to know how the residents would prefer to be contacted and track it. Sometimes when we learn their needs, other ideas for the database emerge. For example, we can also use the database to track resident activities and accomplishments. Then the association can keep them informed of positive news instead of only non-compliance issues. Now that we know what they will need in the database, we will next determine the database solution. To continue the series, please click the link.